Hey, welcome back. I uh, haven't been able to go out and hunt for a while due to the rain and cold. It just wasn't good weather. But today, it turned out sunny and there is some wind, but I have a new permission. Uh, I asked the gentleman this morning, he gave me permission to hunt. He's run people off this property before and they have found some stuff and they just take it. Um, this is private property, so yes, I ask permission and I get permission. Most of the time. <laughs> so we're going to try this new property out and see what we can find. And the owner would like to see all the good stuff that I find. So let's go find some stuff. Well, I got something shiny in the hole. Hey, let's go take a look. Right down there. So, if you pull this back. Hey, that looks like a dog tag. Yeah. I don't know if there's a date on it. There is a number on the bottom, and the other shiny one is right down here. Pretty clean, uh, and it's not old. It's uh, 2002, and it's the local place, Four Paws. Nice place. Cool. I like these. I like finding dog tags. So oh, there's our first good find of the day. Cool. Well, I haven't found a whole lot and battery's getting low. And I just found my first coin. Right there. I think it's a coin. Whew, pretty chewy, chewy, chewy. Yeah, I think that's a coin. I will have to get it cleaned up so I can see what it is, but I think it's a memorial. All right. So this is a really cool find. Let me pan over and see if you can see it. Right there. You should be able to see it now. Zoom in. Ta-da. Oh, yeah. That's a marble. It's a nice swirl. It's got a little chip right there. I think that's on the inside crack. Oh, cool. I got a marble. This uh, lot is tough. I'm not really finding a lot of coins, but uh, junk. And uh, I just found a second coin right there hey it's a Lincoln flip it over and it's a new one the shield uh, all right well we'll find some more I finally found another coin right they're stuck right in the grass. And some memorial. Can't tell, it's pretty toasty. Uh, that last one was also a memorial. I couldn't, I cleaned it up a little bit more. Able to see the memorial on the back. There we go. Oh, coin. Take a look. And that's a memorial. Kind of clean. 70. That's a 78. So not too bad. Yeah, not too bad at all. Got an odd signal, dug down, 
wasn't really finding anything. I was about ready to give up and then there's something in the hole. Let's, can you see it? It's right there. So pinpointer says it's something and holy crap that thing's heavy oh what the heck that's a solid ingot of lead nice clean that off and uh, see if there's any um marks from whoever casted it holy cow that's got to be a pound and a half that is really cool yeah not much in coins but i'm finding some other stuff in the pouch Okay, there's a coin in the hole right there. Pretty sure it's not going to be that old. A little crusty. Yeah, it's a memorial. Alright, let's do a little bit of pant wipe. See if we can get a date. 66. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, that's, uh... No, that says 1960. Whoa, yeah. That's 1960, so almost a weedy. Missed it by, I think, one or two years. Cool find. Okay. Just turn some soil over and hey, check that out. It's a penny. And oh, yes, one cent. It's a wheaty. All right. Oh man, let me see if I can get a date on this. Grab my toothbrush. Yep, yippers, yippers, yippers. I got a weedy. 52. Nice. Not too bad. A little worn. There you go. One cent. That's a weedy. Yes. 1952. Cool find. Oh, there's got to be some more old stuff in here. Got an odd. I have an odd sound down in this hole. I think I can see it. Right there. What the heck is that? Alright, let's get some dirt off of it here. That cleans up pretty good. Yeah. It's got marks on it like it's been hammered or something. This side's clear. What do we got? Let me do a pant rub here real quick. No way! Those that's a printing press. Oh man, that is cool. I don't know what it says. It's pretty well worn. I'm 
I'll try and read it. Let me try and clean it up a little bit and I'll get back to you. But man, that is a printing press um, piece for newspaper and stuff. That is old. That is awesome. All right, let me see if I can clean this up and see what it says. Man, this is so cool. This is awesome. I've never found one of these before, so this is a first. I've got it pretty well cleaned up, but I, I just can't seem to make it completely out. I think one word is Edwin Green. Something Edwin Green. This might be a person's name, company name, obituary, something. But this is something I can look up on the computer and see if there's a history of somebody with this name on it in the area. Uh, it's a little chipped on the front one but it might be a Harry, a Mary, something. But I'll put some ink on it, put it on paper, and see if we can actually see this a little better. This is a really cool find. I'm happy. <laughs> Great, I'm gonna tell the uh, owner what I found so that he knows, and he can make a decision what he wants to do with it. I'd really like to keep it myself. It goes in my display case. But, uh, yeah, this is awesome. All right, let's go back and get some more stuff. This is an odd find. Let's take a look here. It's half a coin. No, it's a folded coin. And... It's a memorial. Not too old, but it's completely bent in half. Weird. Huh. It's a pretty cool find too. Nice. This is awesome. Right here. That's a key. Uh-huh. That's a nice old key too. I'm not sure what it would go to. Um, there might be some words on it right there. Kind of reminds me of an old trunk key. Could be a house key, could be an old car key. Uh, I'll clean it up if there's anything special about it. I'll let you know. Man, I really like these because they're right on top. And that's a nickel. And it's a, I'm not sure what the age on this one is, but there you go. There's another coin. Flipped it out. And that's a Lincoln. It's on the back side. <gasps> no way. I think that says one cent. I think that's a weedy. My second weedy out of the same lot. That is awesome. Let me get a date. Get this cleaned up a little bit. 1956, 58, 58. I think this is the last year of the Wheaties. Yeah, it's really worn, but I can definitely see the one cent on there. And then this side is the uh, 1958. I just dropped it. Right there. Yeah, 58. That's awesome. 
two Wheaties. I think there's a penny right here. Let's see, is that a penny? Yeah, that's a stinking Lincoln. And it's a memorial. Uh, not too bad condition. I uh, can't tell the age on it. There we go. Well, it's getting late. Sun's going down. Been a beautiful day. It's a bit cool still. And, uh, didn't find a whole lot but man I found that plate that printer's plate that made the whole trip so I'm gonna do the roundup later I want to do some research on that plate and see if I can find out what that name is and then do some research on that and let you know so I do have a coin in the hole and we'll make this the last find right there And that's a Lincoln. That's a Lincoln Memorial. There you go. Last coin of the day. Hey. Uh, that was an awesome day at the lot. There was a lot of digging. A lot of garbage found because that was an old house that had burned down. But I did manage to find some really cool stuff. So... We're going to go over uh, the items that I did find and going over some of the stuff that uh, I did not show you in the video because I had to cut it up and there will be a second part because I go back to that lot for another day. So here's a sneak peek at some of the stuff that I found there and then we'll do the wrap up. So right here in this box, sneak peek. <laughs> Did you see it? Yeah. So there's some good stuff there and a lot of garbage. So we'll go through that later. So here is the good stuff that I found. Uh, this is a rose tag. This is Leviton, 250 watts, 250 volts, some sort of plug or light socket. Uh, a piece of lead plating there's nothing written on it it's just lead it really easy to bend solid uh, I did manage to find two marbles I got some fishing weights that one there too uh, tire weight I got those dog tags right there and I uh, picked up a uh, shotgun shell. Federal Super. Um, this is primer is not struck. That is, we consider a live round. I'm not sure what caliber. That one also does not have a primer struck. And I found an old Parker Brothers uh, pen. And I got this weight, so it weighs uh, close to three pounds. And the only markings I can find on it is right here and right there. It looks like an eight. And there's a hole in it right there. And uh, a divot, but that's it. And this is pretty good chunk of lead um, I did manage to find this this is a plate off of a trophy it says one quarter mile surfboard race third place I'm not sure how old this is but I don't think they've had surf competitions here in a while could have been somewhere else uh, I did manage to find some pennies, a nickel, 
and that uh, key um, the two Wheaties, a 58 and a 52, and that, that is an awesome find. So, uh, let's see, if we go this way, it reads Sunny Edwin Green, and then there's some sort of design at the end almost looks like a guitar or something hope that focus very well so sunny edwin green so this is a linotype printing plate they would put a slug which is this into a machine and then they type out what they would want on it and then this goes into the block and then it gets pressed into the paper uh, they stopped using these about 1972-ish. Um, so 1910-1913 is when they started, I believe, with this type. And uh, they've used it all the way up through the 70s. So as soon as the library opens up and I can go in and look at the newspaper archives, I can find something on this. So, so far I have not found anything on this name but I would like to that'd be cool so well that's it uh, we will be going back to the lot there'll be uh, another day of that and uh, it was great so we'll go out and do it again so thanks for watching like subscribe it's free it doesn't cost you anything and share leave a comment and seeing how I'm doing here yeah go ahead leave a comment I dare you uh, but call it good so remember wherever you go and whatever you do have fun <laughs> as long as it's legal thanks everybody